Hey you guys, it's Christina and I am on day six of my water cleanse or my water fast and I did not vlog on day five because I actually had some detox come up which just kind of passed now which I'm really grateful for and I'm just gonna be talking a little bit about my experience in fasting and I'll update you on yesterday and today and then I'll vlog again tomorrow and um, just wanna let you guys know that I'm okay and that I still feel amazing, I have energy um, clearly I'm, I'm back home now and I'm in my backyard and I was just laying out by the pool getting some sun on my skin which is also very healing and um, so just a quick brief update on day five um, I was at Deer Lake Lodge and I was with my good friend Stephanie she came with me and I had all these amazing people looking after me and it was around the night time when my throat started to constrict and then it got really swollen and then I, I couldn't swallow. And I'm not sure if it was because it was a little chilly for me and I wasn't warm, if I wasn't drinking enough water, even though I was drinking about a gallon a day, but um, it took me about 24 hours to get over and I slept and it's kind of funny because the second that I got home, it started to go away. So I'm not sure if it was a comfort thing, feeling at home. So now I'm on day six and we woke up super early this morning. I went to the juice space with all my girls and we got juices ready for co-op tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. And um, I told myself that I was going to break my fast today, but after speaking to a lot of professionals who coach on fasting and them seeing the cleansing reaction that I had yesterday, they said that I should continue for at least one to two more days. So. Um, I'm gonna try and make it through co-op tomorrow and then break my fast on Sunday is the plan. So I'm on day six right now and I feel incredible. My throat feels so much better. I've been spending time with my friends. We went to the juice space and um, yeah, I'm about to go for a small little walk. I'm gonna get a good night's sleep tonight, at least 10 hours and um, I'm really excited. This has been a really cool experience. So. I'll have more to update you guys with tomorrow after co-op, but as you can see, I'm still here, I'm alive. I am working a lot on my emotional side. It's been really great, but at the same time, it's like you would never think that looking at the darkest parts of yourself <laughs> would make you happier. And I only say that because as you clean out all of the negative caca that's in your body and in your mind and in your thoughts and Spiritually, once you get rid of it, it feels like a weight has been lifted. It feels like the bricks off of your back have been lifted and I'm starting to feel that and it feels really cool. So, I didn't start doing this fast because I was unhelp unhealthy and needed something to heal. I started this fast because I wanted to do a spiritual cleanse. So here I am, I'm in my body, I look fine and um, thank you all so much for your support. So I'll see you tomorrow. All right, you guys, so it is day seven and I am here at the Roughly Organic Co-op with all of my beautiful friends back there and it has been amazing. I've had a ton of energy today. I feel really good, so I'm glad to give you that update. Did have a little bit of detox last night and something that I've noticed is that um, I haven't been able to fully sleep at night. It's almost as if I'm half awake but I'm laying there and I feel great. And it's weird, but I haven't been able to get a really deep sleep. And so that's something that I've noticed. I don't know if that means that I'm nearing the end of my fast. What I'm learning today on day seven is that I'm finding out that energy comes more from getting sleep than it does from food for me right now. So if I need energy and I need to rest, I know that I need, wait, if I need energy, I know that I need to rest and not eat food. And so I'm kind of retraining my body in a little way and it's kind of cool. So all these people think I'm weird because I'm vlogging here at co-op, but a lot of beautiful people around me, lots of gorgeous local Texas fruits and veggies. And so um, that's a quick update on day seven and I'll give you a little one later. He's, he's... Why don't we stop? <laughs> hi! Hello! Happy Saturday! Hi. It's been a gorgeous day. Wanna say hi? Hi! Hello! 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 
Saturday. Nice, delicious boxes, Melanie. Hello. Hello. This is where it's at. Nathan's been avoiding the camera. I don't like the camera at <laughs> all. You know I don't like the camera. All right, camera. fine. <laughs> Hello, though. <sighs> that is much better. Yes? All right, you guys. So it is day eight of my water cleanser fast, and I feel incredible. Like, I really cannot stress how amazing that I feel right now, but and, um, I had a lot of time to reflect last night and really get back into my emotions and whatnot, and um, I slept for like nine, 10 hours last night, and I woke up feeling so fresh, so energetic, so good. I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> Okay, so just a quick recap. Um, yesterday was day seven and I was at co-op and there was a lot going on. Day five, I didn't vlog because I was coming back from the lodge day six and day seven. Um, between those two time periods, I had my first detox, which I think I mentioned was my mouth started hurting me and my throat started swelling up. Um, I also noticed that I started breaking out a little bit, which is very rare for me. Um, but Immediately after like my skin has started to clear, once I got a little bit more rest, I calmed down. I just feel so good. So now I'm on day eight, and I just wanna reiterate that I'm doing this for me and not for anybody else. And I'm so glad that I have done this because I feel liberated on so many levels. I feel relaxed, I feel refreshed, I feel so good. All of these emotions that I've had inside of me for so long, I feel like I'm finally releasing them, I'm finally forgiving, and I'm finally receiving, and I'm finally loving deeper on so many levels. A lot of people are asking me when I'm going to be breaking the fast, and I actually plan on breaking it either today or tomorrow, and I'm still trying to make up my mind because I had that detox in my mouth and in a little bit on my face, and. Some people, um, some experts in this field who I've been speaking with say that I should continue a little bit longer to cleanse all that out. And um, some people say that I should just go ahead and break and continue manifesting healthy habits and a healthy lifestyle. So you guys will find out when I break in my next video, which will be very soon. And hopefully in that video, you will be able to see me breaking my fast and talking about the best ways to break a fast. That way you can go on living healthy and happy. And I want to show you the proper ways to do that. There's this guy like walking around in my backyard and it's like really creeping me out. I don't want to be weird or anything. Just wanted to tell you that. My intention for this fast was only to have gone for six days, which I surpassed. But after feeling so good on this and feeling so many other benefits and then seeing some cleansing reactions happening, I decided to go for eight days. So eight or nine days, here we come. You're gonna find out how long I went in my next video of me breaking it. You're gonna see it happen. I seriously think this guy in my backyard is just like watching me film. He like genuinely is interested in me just sitting here with my camera. What I've learned from this fast spiritually is how strong that our bodies really are, which is incredible to me. I've gone eight days on just water, no food, and I'm gonna reiterate this again. I'm not doing this for weight loss. I'm doing this for spiritual, physical, and mental cleansing for my mind, body, and spirit, and it has been so worth it for me. It's forced me to really look within and to heal some of these things these emotional deep issues that I've had for so long that I've wanted to release. When your fasting emotions feel so much more intense and so what I've been learning to do is that the second these emotions come up, I've been learning how to feel them and then release them. Whatever they may be, whether it be pain, um, anger, resentment, joy, excitement, hopelessness, happiness, all of these emotions, just learning how to feel them and then express them and be vulnerable in that. To me, that is courageous. We don't realize how strong that our bodies really are. I think many times in this fast, I felt fear because I was going without food, which, which you think that you have to be so dependent on, but then you realize that your mind is so much stronger and then working through these things, working through that fear is hugely important. And it's not just about like not eating, but it's about 
addressing your fear so that you can transform it into love and confidence. That's huge. That's so huge. How many people actually go inside their darkest closet alone and try and find the light switch? That's hard. Our bodies are self-healing. When we give our bodies the time and the space, the safe space to heal, miracles really can happen. And I'm not saying that you have to fast to achieve this type of healing. This was just for me. There are so many different ways to achieve the type of healing that you want to achieve. This was just the way that I chose how to do it. And I don't care what anybody else says. I don't care any haters who say, oh, she slows down her metabolism, she's gonna get fat. No, I'm gonna break this the right way. I'm gonna go right back into eating fully raw. I'm gonna be exercising and eating well. And I'm gonna show you guys the right way to do this. So on the next vlog that I do, I'm gonna be showing you guys me breaking the fast. And I just wanna say, meantime, I have been Snapchatting so much lately. So if you guys are missing my snaps, I think you should go on over there and check it out because what's not in these vlogs is on Snapchat. And there's definitely a lot more to see of how I'm doing this in the everyday today, what my schedule is, things like that. So I hope you enjoy. All right, you guys, I have a big decision to make if I'm gonna break today or tomorrow. Right. And, and I just wanna say, I hope that you have enjoyed these vlogs from me. It's been so nice to just be open and communicate with you guys about what's going on in my life and what I'm feeling. If you guys have liked these videos from me and if you would like to see more like them, please give this video a thumbs up and comment below and please leave your love and support. That means the world to me. Honestly, just having friends like you guys in my life who love and support me so that we can create a healthy and happy community together, that's the best. If you guys wanna follow me daily, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. And don't forget, I'm on Snapchat every day. I'm like a Snapchat fanatic. Snap, Snapchat, Snapchat fanatic. I love it. Go over there, check it out, and um, I'm so excited to see you in my next video of me breaking the fast, so stay tuned for that. And meanwhile, I send you guys all my healing vibes, my love and support, and so, so much love.